Hi everyone, um, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create an animatic with Inside Premiere. I'm also going to be uploading another video on how to do it inside of After Effects. I, I believe Premiere and After Effects have different strengths. So I'm just going to quickly show you what, we're, what I'm going to kind of walk through today. So we've got this animatic, let me turn the sound down. Um, there you go. So what we've got is we've got shot labeling, we've got text here, we've got a time code which I'll show you how to do and I've added obviously then some movement and some camera flashes and stuff like that. So I'm going to break it down how I came from Photoshop to this. Okay, so there's not much left so uh, let's let's dive on in then. Right, so like I said I've come from Photoshop all the way to Premiere Pro. Before I do that, before I walk you through that, I'm going to show you the storyboard just so we can kind of see how I've got from A to B. So if we go final storyboard, right, you can see on this storyboard, if we just make this a little bit bigger, we've got um, a camera move by here. So this signifies a camera move pushes in, camera move is going left, and these guys are moving left. These guys are moving up towards there. They're working, walking towards camera. The camera pans down, but then it tilts up. And this hand moves in and, you know, this guy moves up, camera comes down and tilts up, okay? We've also got with these X's a cross dissolve between these two. So looking at this, um, we're going to walk through it now. Okay, so if we come back out, basically I've got my intro at the beginning, just went to uh, graphics, title, a new layer, sorry, and text. Created one of them and it gave me a text box like this one um, and I just typed in there whatever I wanted. Okay, so I'm actually going to click off that. I imported my music obviously. Now, I'll go into this actual animatic because all this stuff at the moment is just text. So I've just used the same principles before. Um, graphics, new layer, text and created scene 12 shot 1. And also I've taken this text from the storyboard. Okay, so... All these layers are is that. So this is sh scene one shot, scene twelve shot one, two, three, four, five, six, and because there is a transition within the storyboard, I've also faded the text in and out with it. So if we go in, for example, if we go into this animatic, um, you can see if we zoom in, there's a cross dissolve between these two, and I'll show you how to make one of them. It's very very easy, click and drag. Um, but I've done that with my text as well, just so the text kind of fades with it, okay? So the only other thing, the things I'm going to cover is I'm going to go into this animatic and break down what's going on um, with the transitions and animating the camera moves and flashes and stuff. Um, so first of all, when I when I saved out of Photoshop, um, I have got another tutorial where I go through how I've made these really, really simple. You don't, have, don't even have to be able to draw very, very easy. Anyway, when I was in Photoshop, I knew that these astronauts needed to be um, walk in separately, okay? So, um, like, independent of the background. So what I did is I saved out the astronauts and I saved out the background separately. So then, coming in here, if you go to your effect controls, you can actually keyframe. So I came to the beginning, you can click the stopwatch, keyframe the position, move forward, click and drag your guys and set another keyframe, okay? And it basically animates them there. And then we've got on this shot, We've got a camera moving in, so on both of them, I set the scale, starts at 100, and then ends at 119. With the astronaut, he starts at 100, but ends at 150, because I want him to be also be walking towards the camera. So if you look at the sides of his helmet, you can see there is some sort of depth in there, okay? Um, then with this one... I've animated because I want the camera going from right to left, like so. Um, on each one, I keyframed the position to move that layer from right to left. So I've got my background on its own. I've got my buildings on their own. I've got the guys on their own and these photographers split up, okay? Um, reason being, I'll explain now. Um, what I've done is, if you come to each of them, I put a brightness and a contrast on each of the layers apart from the photographers because the flash originates from their um, from their camera so you'll see there's a little flash there all I've done is keyframed a brightness and contrast from 0 to 30 on each of these 0 to 60 sorry on each of these layers and that's all it took and they all move they all have the same positional keyframe data going across coming into shot 4 if we double click we can go in and I've literally just scaled these 
So for the astronauts, I've positioned them and scaled them so just so they kind of look like they're moving. Um, with the background, I've also um, scale. I've also positioned that because I want the camera moving down, as in sort of a camera moving from up above to kind of just yeah down like that. So okay, it's all about just thinking of those camera moves and doing them in here. So I've got a dissolve because if we look, if we remember back at back on the storyboard, we want a dissolve, this little X between the two. Um, so what I've done is I've gone and put, if you type, if you were to type in here, cross dissolve, you can click and drag that between two clips and yeah, it then dissolves between the two clips like so. For this one, it was literally as simple as animating the hand moving in. So if I go double click, I've got arm and I've basically done two positional keyframes, one from here, one from here, it animates in. Pretty simple. Animatic um, shot six. Can't even remember what this shot was. I do now. So we've got the ground astronauts on their own, the lift astronaut on his own. He, the lift astronaut, if we just turn the other two off, he's just got a positional keyframe to move up and down because he's supposed to go up in the lift. Um, if we turn back on the ground astronauts, you can see they move up very slowly as does your background uh, so the camera kind of moves down while he moves up okay it's just positional keyframe data to show those camera moves now what I have done if I come back out to this so we're in the animatic here's all the shots I've put some audio in there I then this is all been done in here I right clicked and went nest so it just pre-composes it all and puts it in once so you have to double click now to go into it um, what I did with the selected is I typed in here time code and if you drag time code on what you'll get is this little number up here so you can see mine is by here if I turn it on and off and um, basically even though it starts at like five seconds because I put this title card in the beginning you can see then as it plays through let's just mute this you can see then as it plays through that you've got a time code so your editor or whatever will know when it gets to exactly four seconds for example these are all in like four second five second three second shots um, but using this time code is very helpful because if it changes angle at two seconds and 11 frames your editor needs to know um, so yeah that's basically how I made it um, then I rendered it out it only took me about 20 minutes half hour so I didn't I know I didn't make one with you today I just wanted to break down how mine was made text elements the shot numbers the text elements a title card animatic with the time code and all these elements saved out of Photoshop separately so they can be animated individually. And then any transitions, you just put them on like that. Boom. So I hope that was helpful, guys. I'm also going to do another one a little bit more in depth. It's going to be an After Effects because with the camera tilts, you've, you've got a few additions. You can actually use a camera in After Effects. So I hope you find that interesting. hope it was helpful. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.